The power to create money is one of the greatest powers in a market economy. Many people, including many politicians, mistakenly believe that power resides only with the parliament. And there are many rules, of course, to restrain the power of parliaments and governments to create that money, such things as central bank independence, the controls under the Eurozone over the levels, levels of government debt and the levels of government deficits and so on. Unfortunately, the government is not the only body which can create money in a market economy and it is in fact by far the least important in the modern day because something of the order of 90% or more of the money in circulation is created by private banks every time they create a loan. The mythology mainstream economics has taught us is that banks are simply intermediaries who lend money from one person who is a saver to another person who is a borrower. If that were true, then that loan would create no additional money and the demand would simply go from being expressed by the lender to expressed by the borrower. That is not the case. And finally, central banks themselves are coming out and saying that this vision of how banks operate is false. The Bank of England did so in 2014. The Bundesbank did very recently in 2017. The simple mechanics are that when a bank creates a loan, it makes an entry on the asset side of its, of its ledger and it records a simultaneous and equal amount in its liability side when it deposits that money in the bank account of the borrower. What the borrower then does is spend that money and that money turns into circulation increasing demand. Now that could all be positive if that money was spent wisely, was borrowed for wise purposes. But over time banks have become less and less responsible in how they lend and now predominantly they lend to finance speculation on asset prices, whether that's through mortgages to buy properties or it's through margin loans which are extended by stockbrokers to buy shares. This has given us a massively inflated financial sector which drains the capacity of the productive sector to actually generate real goods and services and real employment. It's what caused the 2008 crisis. I would prefer to see a system in which the banks could only lend for truly creative and innovative purposes. And I would like to see that married with the government creating the money that is necessary for most of us to undertake ordinary transactions. Unfortunately, we don't face that option right now. The one option on the table is for the, the government to take over complete control of money creation in Switzerland. Now, I see this as, as a second best option. The best would be a blend. But we are not going to get to that blend while the power to create money resides almost exclusively in the hands of private banks who have been incredibly reckless in how they lend and led to the financial crisis of 2008 as a consequence. So I support the Swiss for referendum as a better system than what we have right now and a step towards a proper system where innovation is financed by private, private banks rather than speculation and gambling as has been the case unfortunately for about the last 30 years.